Okay, so I'm making the dough. Maybe I should put the dough blade in. Yeah. The dough for the um, Guy Fieri pretzels. What are they actually called? What's their full name? Pepper Jack pretzels. Pepper Jack pretzels. So I'm going to put four cups of flour. Okay. Four cups of flour. Teaspoon of salt. Okay, teaspoon of salt. One, one, one tablespoon of sugar. So we we double the amount of cayenne. So did you think that was enough in those? Yeah. Oh, that's good too. Uh, just because we like a little extra spice. The last ones were a little garlicky, so we're gonna stick with a heaping half a teaspoon. Just gonna measure it. There we go, some onion flakes. That's probably less than two teaspoons. Probably less than what I've used, but the rest of them are way up there. No, fine. I'm a, I put some of both last time. So I put a half a cup of pepper jack. And then last time I just shook in just a little bit of parmesan. For extra cheese and extra flavor. Now you gotta pulse it three times, five seconds each. Okay, so we mixed all the dry ingredients in the food processor. And now we get one egg and the yeast on yes. top. Okay. Can you Nope. So what we did was we had a cup and a half of water and a tablespoon and a half of yeast. And the water was supposed to be about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And it sat for about 10 minutes to get frothy. And then we just dumped that in with a whole egg. And now we're going to pulse it three times for 10 seconds. Uh, yeah. Until the dough comes together. Yeah. Okay, so this is the dough. I have turned it out onto the counter. And now I've put a bunch of flour on it, and now i got to knead it like 10 times. It's quite sticky right now, but that's okay. So I'm just going to knead it 10 times into the flour. And now it's a beautiful dough. It's no longer sticky, and it's nice and easy to work with. So we're going to put half of it aside. <laughs> and not forget and it. And not forget that it's there. I'm not stupid in real life, did you? Is it on? Yes. <laughs> So when you make the pretzels, <laughs> you get two sets, not just one, but two. So don't use all the cheese <laughs> for a set. Okay, so we have a 12 by 17 rectangle of dough for the pretzels. And I am now going to start uh, incorporating the cheese into the dough. So this is pepper jack. And I'm going to put it in a line down the center. Did we say that these are Guy Fieri's yet? Okay. This is a recipe from uh, Guy Fieri's, which book? Food. Food book. I think it's called Food. Um, and this is what, the third time we've made them? Fourth time we've made them? And they are absolutely amazing. So, because I screwed up, now I gotta be careful with the cheese. So, I'm trying to. Some of them are gonna be super cheesy, and some of them are going to not be. So, you put a line of cheese down the center there, and then now I'm just gonna fold the dough over it. And then I'm going to put another line of cheese down the center here. Make 
that. And fold that over. And can you see it? Yeah. And then we are going to pinch the edges together and re roll this so that the cheese is incorporated right into the dough. And we're going to make it into a 11 by 15 inch rectangle. 11 by 15 inch rectangle. All right, so that is roughly. 11 by 15. 10, one and a half by 11. Those of you who have trouble with math, that makes 15. Because this is supposed to be 15, but I think it's slightly longer than that. So I'm just going to mark them on both sides. Are you happy with those? At every one and a half inches. Yep. Yes. Okay, so I've scored both sides, and now I'm going to cut the strips. <laughs> because there's a typo in Guy Fieri's recipe because it tells you to make 10 one and a half by 15 inch strips which you cannot make. <laughs> what did you just say? You have to make 10 and a half, one and a half, ten, sorry, 10 <laughs> one and a half inch by 11 inch strips not 10 one and a half inch by 15 and a half inch it doesn't work and we know that and then every time we make them we forget <laughs> so you might want to write it down on your copy of the recipe <laughs> okay and these are supposed to be how long 18 what I did was I took the strip and I lengthwise pinched the ends together and now I'm just going to make it 18 inches long and form it into a pretzel shape. Okay, so all of my strips are now rolled into cigars. That was my phone. So now I'm going to shape them into pretzels. I'm using different parchment. Yeah, because that parchment's a little left. Uh... It would have been fine. Okay, so now we make a pretzel shape. Fold over one. Fold over the other. Try to make them even. Okay, so now what you do with them, can you still see me? Yep. Where's the angle? Over there. No, it's over here. I don't know. Yeah, right here. Someone stole it. <laughs> Okay, so now what we're going to do is we have just a little bit of milk mixed with egg, and so I'm going to brush the pretzels with that. I don't like to do too many at a time because it's a little bit slow work and I don't want them to soak in or dry or anything. So I'm just going to do this tray first and then the other tray. You just want to make sure that you get it all over the whole thing so that the cheese and the onion and the salt will stick to it. Okay. And once you've done the egg, then I sprinkle a little bit of kosher salt because I like salt. I actually can see it. Okay. I just can't see that one. Well, I love salt, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of kosher salt on them. You can split this into like five videos. Let's do a pretzel video. So I'll put the salt on, and I'm going to put some onion flakes over here. Mm -hmm. and onion flakes right on. These are super big, so I'm just squishing them up. And then you just 
sprinkle them on top like the salt and it falls off okay so there we go onion flakes now i'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on them i don't have to use up all of this <laughs> <laughs> no don't use up all of that <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on top. I screwed up the last ones. And then we're going to put them in the oven at 425. Yes. For 16 to 18 minutes. And they get golden brown and puffy and beautiful. And then we eat them. Because we haven't shown what the finished pretzels look like. Mm. And these are what the finished pretzels look like. And they look delicious. Mm. They may not have eaten one.